Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So tonight I'm going to be doing some more water coloring. One with alcohol and one with water. Real water coloring, if I do say. Hi Fran. Hi Betty. Okay, I see that there's four on, so I'm going to get going. So my first card is with Leave a Little Sparkle, and I'm using this unicorn here. And I'll put that on the floor. So here are my, my pieces and my ink. Hello? Oh. Oh, it's right in front of me. Duh. Okay. So let's ink this up. Make sure I get a good image because I only cut one oval. And I'm going to do her a little sideways. Hi, Karen. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside for now. And we're going to do the background. So I have a piece of white. Five by three and three quarters. And a stencil. And on the back of the stencil, I sprayed some pixie spray. It's a light tack repositional positionable adhesive made especially for stencils. So I'm going to, let me just tack this down uh, and that'll keep it, oh, of course that's uh, empty. Oh, Gail, Gail, Gail. All right. Oh, here's my zig. Okay. So let's put a little bit of zig on there. And then we're going to put that down. And then I'm going to put this down. Hopefully I put enough. I'll know in a second. All right. And then I should have three brushes. I had no internet until just a little while ago. I was like, whoa is going on here okay so i'm going to start out and i'm using makeup brushes and gorgeous grape hi judy patricia stacy sandra rhonda <laughs> hi noni okay so i'm just taking the makeup brush and smushing it around. Then I'm going to grab some yellow, and this is pineapple punch. So I'm, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure, but not like, you know, like smashing down on it. If you get the drift of that. Okay, and then where's the other little brush that was just right here? Right there. Okay, and then I'm taking some Bermuda Bay. Had a drive-by birthday greeting today. Aw. Yeah, people are doing a lot of that. I think it's awesome. I thought it was great that teachers were doing it. 
honking to their kids, students. Ugh, there's a little mat. It's always in this room. Okay, so let's have the reveal. Ta-da! So that's going to be our background. I'm going to flip that over. Now I'm going to put this aside. So you can see that I actually use this today, and I'm just going to darken everything up. Uh, lovely lipstick. Wrong side. And this is, I got to put labels on these. This is Melon Mambo. This is the Bermuda Bay. Hey, cruising for a bruising. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Darice. And then our, uh, yeah, Gorgeous Grape. And this blue I didn't end up using, so I'm not going to put anything on that. And if you were just doing, you know, a little bit of something, you can just reactivate what's already on your palette. Okay. So I'm using a regular paintbrush, glass of water. And let me try and fix the lighting. Okay, so I'm just going to wet the brush. And the these were more, you know, for a pink, pink effect. And then I have to bring in two colors for the actual um, horse. Now, what I did learn is I have to follow, even though in the very end you don't notice it, but a lot of these hairs go like you have to follow them down. So, and you really don't have to, like, worry, like, all that much about, you know, going out of the lines. Um, I'm going to put a little bit there. Like, it all came out fine, and in a couple spots I did, whoops, see, there I went, right into the other spot but it won't matter in the long run. So again, really I'm using the very tip. Um, let's see. I want some of the pink up on top. And then where do I want to be? All right, I'm going to start from here. I think that's why... They're really not totally connected. Or maybe they are. I don't know. <laughs> Those go there. Okay. So, you know what? I'm just doing them like I did them earlier. I'm not going to worry about it. Because really, it looked good. If I do say so. Um, yeah, I don't see, like, those would be, like, underneath. So, we're good. We're good. Some of them come through, and then some of them don't. Okay, so I switched colors, like, a few times. So, you just clean your brush, and if you have too much water, just keep, like, a, a towel. Because you don't want to get, like... Hi, Fatima. Okay, so we're going to put some gorgeous grape in here. I think I'll do a couple. And I just randomly, you know, picked hairs. Like I didn't like really think it out too much. I just started coloring. And once you have your first layer, you can always go back 
and put that little gnat. Get. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so annoying. Like it's not even a fruit fly because there's nothing, nothing on my fruit. It's teenier. It's a Florida bug. Okay, so now I'm going to switch and put some of that teal color in and see where that brings us. <laughs> Seriously. And just keep filling in empty spots. And you can use, if you, you know, don't have a brush, you can use your um, water, your aqua painter. And you can always use your aqua painter and dipping it in water. All right, I'm gonna pick some, a little bit more like of the pink and get that in here. Hmm. I get like, Laura, where am I gonna put it now? That should have been purple, but it won't matter in the end. I don't know why I just washed that out again. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit more there, a little there. These are little ones coming from underneath. Oops. Come on, stay up. Oh, look what I just did. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Nah. I can probably wet it a little bit and... We'll see. Okay. So I want some more pink up in here, but not over there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is those flowers and then go back and do some more hair around it. So for the flowers, I have the yellow It's a little too wet and I need a little bit more. Ooh, cold, windy, rainy, sleety, yuck. I'm so glad I'm not near that. All right, so all these flowers are gonna be yellow. And don't be afraid to, you know, to do this, because seriously, if you look close, I am not, you know, like totally in the lines, and it all comes together in the end. It really does. All right, so I've got those flowers. And I don't want this to be too wet. So I want to put in a little blue here okay whoops I think I have most of it and then you can always go back with a little bit darker make them darker or fill in where you know, you're not happy with it. But I'm doing this sucker pretty fast, so I'm not going to worry too much. 
Um, oh, I should have just fixed that blue. And I'm going to put in a little bit more pink here. And you can let the pink blend with the purple. Okay, so I'm going to clean that off. And I'm going to try and get some of that off. Yeah, not so much. That's all right. It'll all work out in the end. Okay. So, to do the horse itself, or unicorn, I took um, Petal Pink, and that one's marked, and I couldn't see it. And Rococo Rose, is that what I really used? Maybe. Yep. Okay, Rococo Rose and Petal Pink. So I first did a wash, kind of, sort of, of the Petal Pink. So that went basically all over. A little in there. Okay, so then I added a little bit more water and I mixed the petal pink and the Rococo rose together. So that just lightens the Rococo rose. And then where all the dark shadows are supposed to be, I tapped in that color. So I started with where they put the shadow. And then from there, I put it where I thought it should be. So here around the neck, here around his jaw and snoot, like part of the neck. Down in there. That's too wet. Okay. So around where the hair comes down. And then his like bottom jaw, like his lip. And I'm going to grab a little bit more of the darker cocoa rose and then you can blend it out a little bit but I more or less like really didn't all right and then the ears okay so I'm going to grab a little bit more of the Rococo rose and like right inside the ear and then along the flowers Ugh, that bothers me. I mean, really, it doesn't matter, but it bothers me. Okay. <laughs> like, I'll end up coloring one and putting it over. Oh, I'm not done. Okay, so then I took this one. We're going to do the horn. So I did every other one. And then cleaned it and grabbed the yellow and then did that. So I'm just tapping. Like seriously, I'm just using the very tip and just barely touching it. And the next time I'm putting this down onto like a bigger piece and then like accidents like that don't happen because you're, you're not touching close to it. Um, I think I got, just want to get like in here because that's, well, now it's not, that should have been light, but that's okay. Nobody will know the difference. So don't tell. And let's 
get this right in there. Okay. So then what I did is whatever was left on this, I just kind of went around the edges. Mm, I don't think an eraser will help it either because because there's water on that, it like soaked into the paper, but it's a good place for an embellishment. So that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll do that at the very end. I wanna make sure that's definitely dry. So we're gonna put this together and then we can move on to the second card. So this goes Whoa, it's a lot of glue. What you gonna do? That's a lot of glue. Oh yeah, embellishment spot. I'll just keep my finger there the whole time. How's that? Okay, and then this is gonna go on to a piece of gorgeous grape. And I think I can lift this up a little bit while I do this. There's that little gnat again. Maybe it's my eye. Maybe it's not really a gnat. I'm just seeing it. Okay. I hope that's not the case. So that's going to go there. Um, that's going to go on top of that card. And then, but wait, there's more. But wait, I've lost it. Okay. So not a little note. It's believe. I got it. That's a dirty one. That's better. Okay, so we're going to stamp Believe. Let's try that a little straighter. So hard when it's so far away from me. I think that came out exactly the same, but you know what? We're going with it. Okay, so just like I did the other day, I cut it and cut it and then glued it to this piece and that one was a half inch and this is five eighths see I got that measurement I'll make that a little bit. Okay, so this is going to go down right there. This we're going to pop up on dimensionals. That goes right there. And then this onto the card, onto the base. Okay, and then I'm gonna put, let's see. Um, oh, this one will work. So, we're 
going to put that right there. Where'd it go? Right there. We'll put one there. And one right there. So now, I mean, it's there, the little boo-boo, but you don't see it as bad. So that is the card. Here is the original one, which I did a little slower. So it is a little neater. Okay, card number two. I'm going to put the water because this time we are using alcohol. But we're basically using this again. So I'm going to clean it off. So this is alcohol in here. And I'm going to add some more alcohol to this. Yeah, I wish we had more stencils. I just bought some from another company because I really want, I really like stencils. And there's a lot of different techniques you can do with them. So. I might be using some of them here. I don't know. Oh, I just found the, like I knew I had stamped some and didn't cut it out. And then I couldn't find them, but you know, there it is. So this card uses two wild rows. This set right here. And I did this one in gray, but I didn't actually color the card. I should have colored one, but I didn't. So we're doing it all. <laughs> I'll do two together. And I think, I think what I'm going to do is take a piece of cardstock and Use that tricky glue and then they'll be down here and make it easier. Okay, so I mainly used reds. So I have cherry cobbler. I think real red, uh, real red and poppy, is it poppy parade? Yes, poppy parade. So here's the real red. And here is the poppy parade. So using the markers kind of just saves you from having to have all your, um, whatchamacallit, your pads out. So, but the same thing, you're going to put it a little alcohol and pick up the color. So this is the darkest one, and I just went in. And just remember, you can always add more. So this does not look dark, but you're also, just like you do with um, the markers, you're, you're layering. So you're layering your colors and you can make it darker. You can also mix. Like if I want to take some of that and mix it with the darker red, I can do that right off the get-go. 
So th- it is a gnat. <laughs> it just landed on my face. <sighs> I'm so sweet. It likes me. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to mix those. So the same thing, I'm going to kind of try and do both at the same time since I didn't do one. And like everything else, no two are going to come out the same. But not to worry because, so I'm told, there's no two flowers the same either. So don't worry. And you can see, I mean, I'm not doing anything, you freaking little gnat. Oh, it's it's really going to go. <laughs> I know you're all probably laughing or leaving. I don't know. Okay, where am I? So we're just going to continue to add color. Like as it dries, you can put another layer on. And I'm not using really a lot. And then you can start bringing some of it out as you move to the lighter colors. So I'm going to go like around the petals where, like I didn't get crazy with the dimensions either on these, but I did, you know, use the rule of where they're overlapping. You just, you want it to, you know, to really look real a little bit. See like here and around here. Okay, and in a second, I'm going to start with the other color on this one because you can go back. And then you kind of see where you are. Can't believe I'm doing two at once like this. Never. It's a feat never done before. By me, anyway. Okay. I hope it's not like making it more confusing because I'm jumping from one to another. All right, so I'm going to go to the lightest color, which is that. Looks kind of blah. But what it's going to do is darken what's already there. That kind of looks orangey for some reason this time. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's drying lighter. Okay. And I kind of left, you know, a lot of white spots on purpose. But each time you go over it where the darker spots were, it gets like a little bit darker. Okay, so we're going to do this one, and in the very end, you can come back and put more dark where you think you want it. But we're not going to worry too much because, I like, I really want you to get the idea of it. And what I do like, I think I've said it before, what I really do like about the alcohol when you're doing something like this is that it dries almost immediately. Hi, Carol. Thank you. 
Okay. So I'm going to just go in and do a little bit of the shading, the darker, you know, between spots. And I think I'm going to mix those together. And that should be dark in there around the flowers. And then I, I'll do the, um, the leaf. A little in there, a little right there. But you see how I can go back in and make spots darker if you want, like so. All right, so I'm going to say we're kind of done with that. I think they look fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should put some alcohol in a spray bottle. Now, I just had that. Here it is, hiding, hiding. And I use 91%. I've never tried any of the lighter, so I don't know how it how it all works. Okay, so let's pick two of these that look decent. Those two. All right, so we need, we've got a garden green. We've got shaded spruce. And we have mossy meadow, wrong side. So really none of these are like that much different. I started trying to use um, like a real light green and I didn't like it. So we're going to use this one light. This is the garden green. So there's my, like a base. I'll do it on both. And they're leaves, so you don't have to worry if you have darker spots. Like in something, you could probably use it just like that if you wanted to. But are we? Psh, no. Okay, so this is the mossy meadow, which, when mixed with alcohol, doesn't exactly look like mossy meadow until it dries. It's very weird. Did I get both? And again, you can, like, layer your colors. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. So now they're mixed, and that's fine, too. And I'm not even, like I do with markers, um, you know, like making, following the, the lines, and you can. I'm just kind of adding the color. But here, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it if I have to, right? <gasps> Oh, I had such a great little video chat, kind of. We, we more or less played. Um, my granddaughter was out for a walk, so it was, it was just Charlie. And my son kept putting, like, the different faces on. First, he wouldn't come to the phone. And then when he did that, because he was mad, he didn't go for the walk. So, uh, oh, my God, we had so much fun. Then I called my daughter into the call. So the four of us were having really fun time okay so we've got those i'm just going to set this aside and clean it later and we're going to put this together oh i forgot one thing on these oops oops 
you know what? I'm just going to go direct. I'm going to go direct. And I'm going to take crushed curry and do the center. Okay. Oh, I still have to stamp the saying. Oh. All right, let's do it. If we must. Okay, so we have the thank you from the new set that is from the new catalog, but it's available this month. And I'll pull it out in a second. It's here somewhere. So I got to pull this a little bit closer to me. And I'm going to stamp all oh, thank you. Oh, I missed the very end, but we'll fix it. And then, I don't think I put it away. Nope. We're going to take this from that set. Just wanted to say, and I was able to kind of balance it between the T and the K. Like that. Just wanted to say thank you. So now I'm just going to take a black fine line marker and gently, and I'm tapping it in because I'm not that, you know, neat to draw straight lines. So I kind of go around it and tap until I get it. To where it fills in where I missed and you can go into other spots and then you just never know that it happened okay so we got that so let's put this baby together So five by three and three quarters, if you didn't know, onto a black layer. Oh, and we can, because I did it in the other one. So glad I didn't wipe that up. Okay, so I'm going to take that marker again, and we'll do some of that. And I'm going to put some, like, around the edges. I think the other one I painted it all over because I had a little boo-boo. And it's okay if it, you know, drips in. As a matter of fact, we'll let it drip in. Okay. I kind of like that. Looks a little distressed. Just like I am most of the time. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put this down towards the bottom. And our card is done. No, it's not. So I put like that and like that, and then I fit my flowers to it. So that's what we're going to do again. <laughs> you guys, that's a lot of glue right there, and you know where that's going to go, everywhere. All right. So we go there and 
Pigeon Forge. And that's going to go, I hope I'm putting that in the right spot. We'll make it the right spot. Okay. And then these on purpose, I didn't put the glue all over. I only put it in the center. How do I want that? I want that there. Because then these can lift up. Sometimes they curl a little bit on their own when you watercolor like that. Glue. I'm going to let that one. Maybe I should pop that one. I didn't on the other one. Nah. We're just going to do the center thing again. And we're going to turn it slightly and then we're going to put this on the card itself and whoops hi Deb What kind of ink are you mixing the alcohol with? This is just um, regular uh, watercolor ink and alcohol. Like you can take like our refills or any of refills and mix it with alcohol. Like you can make your own spray, you can add glitter to it. Oh, speaking of, that's what I didn't do. Very carefully on this one, we're gonna take the Wink of Stella. Now you don't wanna be like dragging it because you can watercolor with this for a whole sparkly look, but I just wanted this. So I tapped that on top. Oh goodness, I forgot the inside of the flowers too. Whoa! All right, now we're glittering a little more. We're gonna do the flowers too. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. And more is coming out. What? Okay. Stay. What? All right, so I'm gonna do the inside of those flowers. Um, with, with Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to take it right with the marker, and there's only the two of them. Okay. Whew. But now, if you can see it, they're like, yeah, my camera's so bad. It is sparkly. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to lift this up, and there are the two cards that I did tonight, and it was fun. I hope you learned something from it, so you can watercolor with water or alcohol, and, um, and of course, the background sponging. Our inks are great for that. And uh, covering up a boo-boo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, I will be back on Wednesday with, uh, you know, my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. So, good night. Stay safe. Happy Easter. Happy Passover. And um, I'll see you Wednesday. Good night, everybody. Thank you.